uh, Visla, Visla suit. Um, you know, for those of you who don't know Visla, uh, it's um, uh, a relatively new label uh, based in California, uh, run by Paul Norday, who um, has been in the surf industry for many years and really knows what works. He's also originally from South Africa, so uh, you know that's a country where rubber is important. If you want to surf Jeffrey's Bay, you've got to wear a wetsuit or it'll be really sus. Um, so this suit immediately stood out because it's really bright. <laughs> and uh, like, say what you like about colour, you know, pretend you don't care about it, you know, be all sort of masculine about it, okay? But the truth is that every single person reacts to a wetsuit with colour in it. Um, either you sort of like shy away from it because you don't want to stand out in the crowd or you swiftly strap it on because you do want to stand out in the crowd uh, or you're kind of a mixture of both, uh, you don't mind it but you're a little bit sort of edgy about wearing this much brightness. Um, me personally, uh, I think it's, I think it's um, uh, <coughs> interesting that Vissel has chosen that uh, set itself apart so quickly in the wetsuit market by just coming out and making a wetsuit that's got a fantastic aquamarine top. <laughs> um, another incredible thing about this suit uh, that isn't apparent just from looking at it is that um, we looked at the retail price and the wetsuit's $259, which to me is flabbergasting. Um, uh, it's a ridiculous value for money at that price, this wetsuit. It's a real simple, straight up, normal chest zip steamer, 3-2, uh, easy, ingress, really easy actually, because uh, this rubber's pretty flexy and you can just dive straight into the suit. Uh, real basic, it's got fleece lining up the top to keep you nice and warm. Um, it's sealed off with just typical neo-taping. There's a bit of the glued and blind stitch uh, aspect to this suit, um, which tends to make a suit a little bit more flexible. Um, and you can see that right throughout. <coughs> it's that glued and blind stitch stuff. It doesn't have that liquid neo taping on the outside. Um, uh, this means it's really easy to move in. It's really easy to get on and off. Okay. Um, cuffs have got that uh, silicon support sealing stuff. Keeps a little bit of water out, but more or less just sort of holds the size of that cuff pretty steady around your ankle and also around your wrist. It's got a bit on the outside there um, as well as the inside. So that all just stays pretty stable. Um, real nice thin two mil, you know, some two mil feels a little thicker than others and this suit feels nice and skinny. Same uh, glued blind stitch type seams in the upper body. This wetsuit's very, very easy to paddle in. Uh, it's very easy to move around the lineup. Uh, um, it's, um, it sacrifices a little bit of warmth for a little bit of flexibility and that's the trade-off that you get with all wetsuits. Um, they're all trying to get the best of both, but in one way you're, you're always giving up an, a little bit of the other way. It's really hard to get everything exactly in line. Uh, in this case, Vistler's gone for a little bit more flexibility. Uh, makes it a really great wetsuit for um, most of the east coast of Australia uh, through pretty much all the year. Um, uh, maybe down here in Victoria in autumn and um, uh, spring, late spring. Um, uh, and in West Australia uh, through most of the warmer months, you know, maybe not right in the middle of winter. <coughs> it might be a little bit chilly at that point. Um, sure, it'll, it'd be a good wetsuit where it was born in California. Uh, where the water's pretty chilly, but you don't get the same kind of winds as we get here all over Australia. And that's what really cools you down in Australia is the wind uh, more than the water temp. Um, yeah, anyway, it, surfability, freaking A1, this wetsuit. Uh, it's easy to surf in, it's fun to surf in. Um, and uh, you definitely stand out in the crowd. <laughs>